from sunny southern New York. It's the late evening but pre-twilight show. Here's your host, Kyle Barnes! Ladies, gentlemen, please, we, we, we've got a show to do. <laughs> well, it's been a heck of a week for all of us. It's been a heck of a week for me, I can tell you that much. So let's start off with lightness and jokes, huh? <laughs> so, uh, so Albert Camus and uh, Samuel Beckett walk into a bar. They do not move. <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys hear about this, you see this, they got this, uh, they got this new adaptation of The Sun Also Rises. It's going to be in uh, theaters in a couple of months. And all I can say is after that last one, there is no hemming way they are going to get me in this one to see it, you know? You know what I mean. <laughs> and, uh, hey, there is no reason for you to be groaning, sir. I've got more puns than you can shake a spear at. <laughs> So my, uh, my buddy Drew Spurman says to me the other day, he's like, hey, Kyle, and I'm like, what? And he's like, hey, Kyle, and I'm like, yeah? And he says to me, uh, hey, what do you think uh, Captain Nemo's biggest warrior was uh, on the, when he was on the Nautilus? And I, I say, I don't know, Jules, what was it? And he says to me, 20,000 leaks under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, before we get too carried away with ourselves here, so uh, there's this, uh, this new Nathaniel Hawthorne picture in theaters, right? It's a new, uh, new Scarlet Letter. And uh, all I gotta say after watching it, once, twice, maybe three times, is that the old adage is true. Every rose has its hawthorn. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. In fact, he's going to be our special guest tonight. He's going to be on the program a little bit later. And we're going to talk to him about the film. It's fantastic. We're going to show you a little clip. It'll be good times. And in the meantime, well, uh, actually, because of the, uh, the, uh, the writer's strike, we, we don't really have any, uh, anything programmed. Anything for the program in between then and now. So, I uh, guess without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Hey, hello. So, Nathaniel. Hey, can I call you Nate? No. Okay, M Mr. Hawthorne. So, the movie. Yes. Big press. Hey, it's the fourth one. You lied to me. Last time you were on my show, I gave you the bump. You said it was only going to be three. It was a trilogy. Can't have four in a trilogy. Oh, no, but the crowds loved it so much, I just had to come back and make a fourth one. Well, do you, you think about maybe making a little safer for the kids this time, taking all that violence out of it? Uh, you know, I, I tried, but then I realized people don't come to the movies to see the plot. They come for the violence. Mmm. Interesting. There. Interesting. There. Now, I like, the, uh, I like the title. I like where you're taking it. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank it's, uh, for those of you at home who don't know, it's uh, The Scarlet Letter 4. New England Drift. Now, explain yes. to me, explain to me, what it is you're trying to do with this film that you haven't done with the other three, because, honest, honest to God, I don't know what you're going to do. Like, I've seen Lethal Weapon 1, great. Yep. Lethal Weapon 2, great-er. Lethal Weapon 3, who's that guy? Lethal Weapon 4, Jet Li? I, I don't know what happened. So I'm afraid this is going to happen to you. Tell me, what are you trying to do? Oh, we're not, it's not going to be like that at all. See, uh... I, I really don't want to give away too much right now, because it, it's such a great movie. I think the, uh, the audience is here... Uh, I think they'd be better off just watching the film in theaters, you know? But that's what my show is about. You ruin your movies, and I get to talk and bob my head. Oh, well. That's what I mean. You like so you tell us a little bit well, about okay, it. Right, right, I'll tell you a little bit. Um, it's about a, a love story, a very tragic love story, between a man, a woman, and the letter that comes in between them. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Hoffman, that's, kind of, uh, that's kind of ambiguous. You think uh, you tell us a little bit more, huh? The letter is a scarlet letter. I, I, I yes. got that from the movie and it's pretty... Can you tell us anything more about the, about the plot? No. Uh -huh. Well, uh, that's... I uh, guess we're just going to have to go to a clip. Uh, Jimmy, you got, that, uh, you got that trailer clip? Let's, let's roll that now. Let's, uh, let's roll that. In a world where letters were black, her letter was scarlet. You would surely have heard of Mistress Hester Prynne and her evil doings.
It's dinner. No, I hate that man. He has betrayed me. Has Sal not tortured him enough? He has to be more wrong than I have done him. On one eighteen oh eight, the Scarlet Letter Four, New England Drift. Wow! Love the energy. Loved it. It was exciting. There was music. There was I. Don't know what happened. There was about two seconds of actual footage. What did I make? Oh, uh, it means that you should go watch this movie. You can't tell me anymore. I'm afraid not. Well, then I guess I will see you when you make Scarlet Letter Five. All right. Remember, back with a vengeance. Back with sounds. Or good. Electric Boogaloo. One of the two. It's gonna be great. It's gonna All be right. great. All right. All right. I will see you again. Nathaniel Hawthorne, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.